Once upon a time in the projects. Low rent, high rise, y'all. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Holding down a cardboard condo. Homeboy in a homemade bungalow. In the middle of the end of the day. It'll be a beautiful day in the suburbs, 72 degrees and sunny. Meanwhile, in the projects, the heat will be oppressive. A blistering 105 with no relief in sight. Oh, my. Mm-hmm. Smells good. Is that the automatic drip? Uh, it's the house blend. Don't you want some cream? Nope, black. Keeping it real today, Muriel. My, you're in a chipper mood. Yep, yep, yep. It's rent day. Almost as much fun as eviction day. Very good. What? Ah, I'm too excited to eat. I got my mind on their money and their money on my mind. <laughs> hey, hey, lady. It's rent day. Well, it's like this, Super. Things a little tight this month. Yo, yeah? Are they as tight as standing room on a raft back to Haiti? Oh, keep the change. Yeah, I thought not. Rent, you ought to pay us to live in this roach-infested dump. <gasps> we do not have roaches. Then what's that? That is a water bug. We ain't got water. Hudson, come on, the rent's due. I, I need an extension. Well, how much time? No, an, an extension for my arm. I, I can't reach my wallet. Oh, all right. Here. Oh, hey, I hope that's a roll of quarters. Super, I, I think there might be roaches on the floor. You seen some roaches? Me? See the floor? <laughs> oh, Super, you, you better stop. Avery, let me in there. I'm here to get your rent. Come back at the end of the month. I ain't paying for no days I might not see. I tell you what, you ain't gonna see this afternoon if you don't pay me my rent this morning. No chance. As my mammogram say, lop it. <laughs> Did you collect all the rent? Yeah, I got everybody but Miss Avery. Old Bat wouldn't let me in. What kind of thick-headed moron thinks they can live here for free? Besides us? Just pass the lactate, please. Thurgood, while you were out, some of the tenants called. It seems we've got a problem with roaches. Muriel, look, I don't want to hear no more about roaches. I just want to sit here and enjoy my raisin bran. Thurgood, those are cornflakes. Oh, Jimmy, they welcome, Muriel. We got roaches! <laughs> hey, I need some roach spray. Fumigation tanks to the left. Next! Hey, hey! How about some instructions or something? All right. Walk over there. Pick up a tank. Leave. Next. But... Next. Calvin's got more than me. Now, now, there's enough poison to go around, all right? So just relax. Okay, boys, listen up. If we're going to catch these roaches, we're going to have to start thinking like roaches. Now, roaches are a brainless little creature that lives to eat, eat, eat. They weird. The most important roach is the queen. She has up to 2,000 offspring. You know why? More government assistance? No. To maintain the colony. What about the king? There is no king. Just the baby's daddy. Okay, everybody, put on your mask. These are dangerous chemicals we're going to use here. Like this? <sighs> Let him be, Thurgood. It's just natural selection. Thurgood, be careful with that thing. What? Oh! Oh! It says caution may cause sterility. Oh, Mario, that's ridiculous. Look, I've been using this for years, and if we had kids, they'd use it too. <clears throat> oh, good. Did you spray every crack? Yup. Yep. <laughs> Nobody sprayed mine. Get out of here! Okay, okay. Are you going to finish that? Go on, get! Move it! Okay, this is the last apartment, boys. Mrs. Avery's. Now, before I open this door, it's very important that you boys put on your mask. All oh, right, the spray? No, the old people smell. You ready? Okay. Avery, open up! I told you I ain't paying no rent. Now, stop, you low-down scum-sucking son of a... Hi, Mrs. Mrs. Avery. Avery. Oh, hi, Angel. 
How are you? Now you take these lemon cookies in school. I'm going to empty my shotgun in the super now. Okay. okay. Bye. Oh, hey, 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 Miss Avery, look. I ain't here for no rent. I just need to come in and do some spraying. Oh, there's going to be some spraying. Hmm. <laughs> come on, come on. Will you just say it, Muriel? It's the only way we're going to get Mrs. Avery out of her apartment. Oh, all right. Thurgood's dead. I say Thurgood's dead. Hot diggity! Mm. Ha! I'm on a party like it's 1939. I got to find me a way to celebrate. <laughs> Holy Barrelujah! Oh, candy. Mm. Oh, chocolate. Carmel. Roach. Maple. Oh, maple. Who would put maple in it? Roach! Oh my god, it's the queen! Throw your highness down! Where'd she go? Now, where would a queen hide? The closet! Come out of that closet, you big queen! Ah! God, I got a fat bit. Ooh! I see you right there. All right, you want to die on the throne, Queenie. Uh, all that kicking, and it wasn't Super's body. Boy, do I feel stupid. Now, should I get out of these clothes? <laughs> mm -hmm. No. I'll have dinner first. Thank you, God. Let's see. What will it be? Lamb stew or beef? Lamb? She eating pretty good for someone who ain't paid their rent. She should be eating dog food. <gasps> She's eating dog food. The poor, poor woman. That's not the way to live. Ain't nobody supposed to have to eat no dog food. <laughs> what you looking at? I had no idea Mrs. Avery was so poor, Mary. But there she was, with a withered frame hunched over a can of dog food. Now, I mean, sure, she had a shiny coat and pearly white teeth, but it would price, Muriel. At what price? I'll tell you, as superintendent of this building, I got to do something. Thurgood, I think it's wonderful you want to help a person in need. But Mrs. Avery's a very proud woman. Even proud people got to eat. Now, it's high time somebody around here brought her some real food instead of that garbage she's been eating. Ah, here we go. Hog maws, turkey necks, chicken gizzards, pig's feet. Muriel, we got any gristle? Mrs. Avery, open up! What's that putrid smell? It's the food I brought you. Food don't wear Old Spice. Oh, yeah, 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 I stink, all right. Listen, this tray is getting mighty heavy with all this delicious human, uh, um, I mean, uh, homemade food I got on it. This ain't charity, is it? Because I don't take charity from nobody. No, it's not charity. It come over from the welfare office. Welfare office? What are you doing touching my food? You will. Well, uh... Charity is his own reward. What's this? Uh, Medicare sent you this gift basket because you're such a valued customer. <laughs> Look what we got here, Miss Avery. Stool softener, denture cream, witch hazel, walt dissolver. You had me at stool softener. <laughs> Mrs. Avery, I've got something for you. Better stop singing or I'll pump you for the lid. What is it? I got you a book on tape. It's called Cooking with My Angelou. Chapter one, homemade bread. Use two cakes of yeast to a cup of water. Add flour, put it in the oven, and one hour later, I rise. And side B is I know why the roasted bird singes. Enjoy. Huh. Well, I, uh, guess I better be going. Did I ever tell you you remind me of a man I used to grift with? Say what now? Mm -hmm. Went by the name of Big Wally Bix. Wasn't much to look at or talk with or be with. But? Nothing. Anyway, one time we were working our car up and down the Santa Fe line. That's when I felt little girl growing inside me. 
I knew the father had to be Paul Robeson or an illiterate young wildcat I met in Odessa. Neither one returned my letters. Then in 1941... Uh, well, you know, uh, this has been a very entertaining, uh, uh, three hours and 40 minutes and 22 seconds, but I really do have to go, Miss Avery. You know, it's nice to have people to talk to. Ooh, where's my manners? How about some Swedish meatballs? You got Swedish meatballs? Yep. It'll just take a minute. What a day. I feel great. Mary, you just don't know how good it feels to do something good for somebody. Dinner's ready. I made your favorite tonight. Again? Well, I'm very proud of you. You're such a good person. Yeah, hey, well, you know, you can't spell third good without good. Can you? Well, anyway, I got a plan to help Mrs. Avery. That's my best idea yet. Thurgood, haven't you done enough for her? Oh, no, no. You don't understand, Muriel. Mrs. Avery, she's... The whole bit is like a... Like a toilet. Clogged up with stubborn pride and backed up with paper towels of spite. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break through all that with my plunger of Christian love. God, I hope this warm feeling lasts 2,000 flushes. Thurgood, you don't want to overstep your bounds. Muriel, there are no bounds when it comes to charity. Hello? It's the church calling about the canned food drive. Hell no! We're not here! Mm-mm! I call this meeting here today because one of us is living in poverty and despair. <laughs> what of us? I know, I know. I was just as shocked as you are. Well, who is it? I'm a voodoo priestess, not a mind reader. Now, now, I cannot betray Mrs. Avery's trust. This poor woman needs her dignity and privacy. Oh, so it's a woman. Well, you're getting warm. Just one more clue. She's a very old woman. A very old woman. I wish Mrs. Avery was here. She's good at these games. Just tell us, super. All right, it's Mrs. Avery. <gasps> I know, I know. But listen, I think it is our responsibility to help her out. So I've decided, as the superintendent of this building, that we are going to have a rent party. Rent party? What for? Because she's poor. Who isn't poor? The woman's desperate. Who isn't desperate? She eats dog food. Who doesn't eat dog? Dog food! Ugh, that's disgusting. I thought that was just an old people's stereotype. No, it's true. So spread the word about the rent party and keep it on the DL. And people, please, dress to impress. Break the signs. Report to the dance floor. Ain't nobody like the project's party, because the project's party don't stop. Walter? Hey, Thurgood, thanks for inviting me to this bachelor party. I got a right pocket full of singles and a left pocket full of Walter. Hey, Walter, this is a rent party. We don't have to rent movies. Check out this pen. See your bikini? <laughs> well, now you don't. <laughs> Give me that thing. Everybody, quiet down, quiet down. I think I hear Mrs. Avery coming. I'm here for the rent party. Now, who's sponging off the rest of us? I bet it's that immigrant Sanchez. Hey. Oh, hi, Sanchez. Come on, stop. Hey, everybody. It's the guest of honor. Come on, give it up for Mrs. Avery. <laughs> you mean you all came together to raise this money for me? Whose idea was this? <clears throat> that would be me. Thank you very much. I hey. told you. Oh. I oh. don't oh. like oh. charity. Oh. Very good. She said she doesn't like charity. Oh. Very good. She's hitting you. Oh. What made you think I would need your charity? Come on, Miss Avery. Don't deny it. Like I saw you eating dog food with my own eyes. So what? I saw you licking a pretzel you found in the dumpster. So it was you. Look, can we please all focus on Mrs. Avery's shameful poverty? I don't eat dog food because I'm poor. I eat it because I want a lifetime supply. How'd you win that? I was eating dog food, stupid. Now, there's no need to get nasty, Mrs. Avery. Just take the money. No. I said take this money. No. Take it. No. They're good. She doesn't want the money. She does want it. She's just too proud and stubborn to admit it. I told you we love you. Now, take this money, you old bat. And I told you, I don't need help from nobody. No! Somebody help me. They're good. Go help her. You heard her, Muriel. She's a proud woman. We got to let her have her dignity. 
Oh, well, maybe I'll just take the skirt off her face. I feel terrible that you broke your head, Miss Avery, and I just want to say again that I'm sorry and that I feel your pain. Does it feel like this? Ah, kick the kick, yo. Okay, time to go, Miss Avery. Here's a bus schedule, and we'll see you back at the projects. Now you just wait. You wanted to help so much, well, now you get your chance. You're gonna wait on me on your hands and ash your knees. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell happened to Mrs. Avery didn't want no charity? She died in that elevator shaft what you threw her down in. Now start pushing, or I'll take you to Judge Judy. What? Are you saying you'd sue me? I'd kill you, but I'm just the kind of taste that dish they like in jail. <laughs> Hurry up, I ain't got all day. <clears throat> wait, stop. I forgot my grocery list. <laughs> Oh, wait, here it is. It was in my hand. Oh, I can throw some lie on you. Hold up, I forgot my coupon. Hey, what? You stay here, and I'll go get him. Don't be stupid. You don't know my system. Oh, oh here they are. They were in my other hand. That's my system. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't aggravating at all. Slow down, Super! You trying to break my other hip? Uh, yeah, yes, Mrs. Avery. I, I, I mean, uh, no, Mrs. Avery. And put on that cap I gave you! Uh, yes, Mrs. Avery. Now nah, that's more dignified. Uh, yes, Mrs. Avery. Uh, I got to stop, uh, and make water. Why you got to stop? I didn't. No. Oh. Thurgood, you awake? Yes, Mrs. Avery. <laughs> I mean, uh... <clears throat> Goody, what's wrong? Oh, that Miss Avery. I tell you, Mary, she's gonna be the death of me. You know that's not true. The doctor said hypertension would be the death of you. Mary, your cheering me up is not gonna work this time. What am I supposed to do? Take care of Miss Avery for the rest of her life? I tell you, I got better things to do for the next three months. Third good, you just need to take care of her till she gets better. It's your duty. Well, my duty stinks. Really? Why would he do that? Oh, wait, I can't talk right now. The help is here. I think he's been stealing things. I'm missing a can of peaches. Hey, Miss Avery, I didn't steal no peaches. I'm on the phone. I'll call you back. Bye, Muriel. All right, which part of my soul would you like to chip away today? My pride, my dignity, or my self-respect? Hmm, I'll take dignity for two hours. But first, I need you to do some filing for me. Finally! Some paperwork. That's gonna be a welcome change. Paperwork? I'm talking about filing these calluses off my feet. Well, this is where Thurgood Arnfall stuff draws the line. I'm not touching no so-called, um, feet. Fine. Lawsuit yourself. Okay, uh, where's the ointment? Where's the lime away? Coming. I still feel dirty. Oh, this is disgusting. Is this the price for helping someone? No, this is. It's Mrs. Avery's doctor bill. Oh, not even hell goes on forever. Will you look at this? Four dollars. Four dollars. Four. Four dollars. Minor adjustment of healthy unbroken hip. Aha! So her hip was never broken in the first place. She can't. She con! She shuck a con! She shuck a con me! I feel for you, I feel for you. That's it, Miriam. I'll throttle her. Always dragging me up there to listen to her boring stories. Do you know how many boring stories a woman of 182 has? One! Over and over and over! Wait, Thurgood, can't you see what's really going on? Probably not. Mrs. Avery just wanted companionship, but she was too proud to admit it. What are you talking about? Thurgood, isn't it obvious? She doesn't want you around because she needs your help. She wants you around because she's lonely. I guess so, but why me? I hate Mrs. Avery, and she knows that. And she hates you. Two negatives make a positive. Don't be ridiculous. Two negatives do not make a positive. Don't be ignorant, Mary, please. Thurgood, all I'm saying is Miss Avery needs a friend. Well, I guess I could find her a companion. Maybe I could dig one up at a graveyard somewhere. Hey, Tanya. Zap, zap. Zap, zap. No, I need something. 
Tell Ty now. I need you to help find me a male companion. Whoa, whoa. Don't ask. Don't tell Ty now. Oh, no, no, no. It ain't for me. It's for the cranky old yapper that lives in my building. Don't worry. I got the whole picture. Ty now knows just what you need. I want you to find her someone with good home trainer. You know I got the hookup. I ain't gonna let you down. Somebody loyal. Be a best friend. Back in two and two, that's cool with you. <laughs> this is what you wanted, right? No, this is not what I wanted. You specifically said, get me a dog. Tonnell, what the hell am I supposed to do with this mangy old dog? I needed a companion for an old woman. A mangy old... Wait a minute. They're made for each other. Uh, that dog's not has broken. It just gets better and better. Uh, Mrs. Avery, I'm here to give you a uh, sponge bath. <laughs> Calm down, boy. I'm just bluffing. Come on in. The door's open and I'm all prepped. All right, boy, you're on. <laughs> Hope you had your shots. <laughs> what the? You mean that my... I'll teach you to come into people's... Oh, my God. What have I done? <laughs> oh, I missed. I guess I'll call you lucky. Wait, let's see. Yeah, lucky it is. Come give mama some sugar. Ah, here's that old warm feeling again. Working his way up my left arm and radiating into my chest. <laughs> That's not a good pain. Did I tell you about my days as a grifter? It was me and Big Roddy Vicks. You know you look something like Biggs. 